Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing today? Welcome into your reading. It is for all you single guys out there. What is coming next for you? What's going to be happening around you? So let's see what we will pick up in these readings. They've been quite interesting. Spirit Guide seems to be showing us what they want to show us. So let's see what they want to show you. Let's clear the space of any previous readings that I've done, any energies that have been around here. And now I call in your energies to please come in Aquarius, whoever you may be, and your Spirit Guides as well to guide us through this reading and show us what we need to see. Let's get some cards out here. Let's have a look and see from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck and have a look and see what current energies are vibing around you right now. What's going on with you? And then we're going to see what's next as well. Let's see what's your energy right now. Um, ooh. Um, also, if you want to have a personal reading with me, you can uh, uh, check the link out in the description box below. It's an email address. You can reach out to me directly. I'm getting distracted with the cards that are coming out here. And uh, it's very interesting what coming out here for you. This is like totally kind of like blowing my mind a little bit in your reading. This is one of the, this is the diff very different reading from what I picked up and from the other ones. It's just quite different, which is nice. I kind of like the energy. Um, I, by the way, guys, if you do like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. I am getting so distracted because of what I'm picking up on here. It's very, very different. We've got a, a three of swords coming up here, which is not a good card. When I saw that, I was like, oh, not a great energy. I mean, that's a card. Look what it says, sadness and isolation. I mean, you know, and then at the same time, there's an ace of cups here, which is loves a lover pounds. There's a Three of Cups, which is very different from the Three of Swords, which is share the love, which is happiness and joy and having fun, you know. And then this is another one, another three, um, reaching out, which is the Three of Pentacles. So I'm going to tell you straight away, you are single right now. You are in this energy, right? Um, maybe sometimes lonely here, sad about what has happened in the past, maybe feeling a bit isolated, as it says there. Now I cannot do anything else. I've got to get another card out here. I haven't done this for anyone else. I'm doing this for you guys because there's a big thing showing itself here. And whatever this is, it's right on your doorstep. Go open the door quickly. No, I'm kidding. Something is right outside, right, right in your area of where you are, right in the next moment of your life. There's something very big here. Can you show me, Spirit Guide, what are these, all these threes about? What is this energy here? Oh, you're going to, it's something that you cannot control. You got love coming in here without a doubt. The devil energy rocks up here in the reverse position. It's telling me that something's coming that you won't be able to uh, control. It's out of control behavior. There is something knocking on your door, literally. Um, I don't know if this is an ex that's coming back in here because it does say reach out there, but there is love that is coming in here. Somebody is coming in. They're offering love. Love abound. Share the love. Reach out. So somebody could be reaching out to you that you know. Um, Capricorn energy comes up here with the devil card as well. I just want to put this here because I wanted to find out what is going on here with you guys. Because I can see what's coming in here. This is pretty, pretty strong stuff here. This is When you see the devil card in the reverse position... It's almost like, an, almost sometimes a bit of a feeling like of a chaotic energy. It's like when this person comes in, there could be a bit of stuff happening around you that's a bit crazy. It's like very busy life. And it's almost like you're trying to keep control of things in your life. And then boom, yes, the person that comes in in the middle of all this. And there's something with these three months. Now, I'm telling you something about three months because there's all these threes that keep coming in here. This is either three weeks or three months. Um, with that timing, it cannot be. And this is very interesting. If you, by any chance, this is going to be very strong. If you've got a child and you have one child, it's you and this your child going through life alone. Not for long. It's going to become the triangle. It's going to become the three. Okay, that's just a message for some of you guys out there. This is very interesting. What is going to happen here, the person that comes in you will not be able to think about it. You're not going to be able to um, make a decision. I feel like it's going to be uh, just this movement of energy that's going to be uncontrollable for you. Wow. I'm just saying, Aquarius, like, hello, you just woke up this morning all innocent and everything, minding your business. And here comes this, like, I don't know, it feels like a tsunami of energy, like, woof. And there's nothing you're going to do about it. You will 
take this. You're going to go with it. I feel like you won't be able to control um, it. I don't think this person will control it either. Um, this is very strong. This is like love at first sight. This is what it feels like. What is happening? This is nice. I After that, don't you deserve love at first sight? Whoa. And um, this is just like, what is going on here? This I haven't had this in any of the readings, Aquarius. What's up? Let's see. Oh, stability is coming in here. Let's see what else Spirit Guide will want to show us here. Yep, nice voices. Out of control energy again with the Knight of uh, Swords being there. Ooh, they are showing some energy attached to this here. Uh, you're going to have to really trust. This is like a bit of your... And I know they always like to show stuff from the past, especially with me. They they kind of like to hang on to this, hang on to the past. I think especially when something is coming in very, very unexpectedly, they really want you to make sure you move away from anything in the past that is like this energy. And this is it. Yeah, it does tell me from the recent past, maybe you have been in connections that were not always good for you, always hoping for the best. Being in a connection, I think you feel it that I don't know about this one I'm not sure but you always kind of hope for the best that everything will be fine but at the end of the day it's like you get proven that things are not fine with the ten of swords being there and um, without a doubt there is something coming in here this could be an earth sign here because with the devil energy coming up being Capricorn I'm picking up on the three of pentacles and this knight that is the knight of pentacles this person is <clears throat> Okay, I'll explain. With the Knight of Swords being here, there's that chaos energy again. There's that feeling of life going very, very quickly. You're trying to handle a lot of things at once. I feel like this is going to happen at a time where things get a bit crazy for you. It's almost like your work, your family, just in general, you've got so many things to do. And you just feel like, oh my goodness, you know, work is pulling me. I've got this thing to do. My family is pulling me this way. I've got to take care of this. It's one of those energies of where it's a bit crazy energy. There's so much stuff happening at this time. While this is happening... In comes this, this Knight of Pentacles, like rocking into this very kind of like busy energy. I pick up a very like steady energy entering. Oh man, that's actually really nice because it's almost like it's counteracting what's happening in your world and this person's energy coming in. It's like it's going to bring some balance there. Um, they are not a fast moving energy with the Knight of Pentacles being there. They don't just jump into something and, whoa, it's me and you, let's party, we're in love. Yes, it's love at first sight, but they take it slow from there. I do feel like it, you cannot stay away from each other, um, but they will want to go nice and slow. This is somebody that wants stability. This is marriage, by the way. Three of Pentacles talks about marriage. And that's what the Knight of Pentacles is going to. This is talking about signing of marriage documents. So you see how this person views what they do. They don't rush because they know what their end goal is already. Interesting. Um, let's go deeper. Let's see why Spirit Guide has shown us these energies from the past year. I do feel like it's totally attached to that energy there so let's see why spirit guide has shown us this there's that card because you're in the moment of manifesting this person in whenever we see the magician card coming you gotta know right now you're in this energy of when you're alone so you're in isolation you're alone sometimes you're not happy about that um release everything from the past don't think about it don't be sad about what has been be excited for what is coming because what has been is a has been okay so be excited for what for what is coming for the potential that can still come in here it sometimes seems like when we in this in this place we don't see the light that is still coming even in this card i'm going to show you from closer it's like you're in this dark place we don't sometimes see um I'm not saying like your whole world, world is a dark place, but with regards to relationship, you can kind of got loneliness here. And we don't see the light. It's like we stand here and we go, I do this like I like in the morning, I like greet the sun and stuff like this. Um when we're doing this, we, we kind of like asking when, when is it coming? When when do I see the light? But and this person standing behind an eclipse that's happening here. We just had a solar eclipse now in Gemini on the 10th of June. Major changes are coming in after this. These two solar eclipses that did take place are going to be affecting our lives for the next couple of months up until the end of 2021. 
there is a solar eclipse, meaning right now you do not see that sun. But you will, because the solar eclipse is not permanent. It only have, it lasts for an hour or so, and then it moves away. And this is exactly what is happening with you now. You're in that solar eclipse moment. You don't see what is coming, but the sun is about to shine for you. My goodness, guys, release anything from the past. I say it again and again because I know we travel with pain and if we have pain in us we tend to attract more pain to us so release that know that you have this power in you being the magician energy to literally have what it is you want to have so you have to make sure that you currently right now start focusing on the positive vibe so that can come in I want to see what is this high priestess you can feel it OMG you can maybe you know I think you you might know when I'm saying this to you I think you feel something inside you um, the high priestess there you're feeling it you may not feel you that's what could make you feel even more lonely um, you could be feeling somebody's energy and they haven't yet even shown up in your world sometimes you might be thinking that you're missing your ex but in fact you've, you're missing somebody you've never met yet guys that is so beautiful my goodness gracious what's going on with you and i think as i say this to you you know you can feel it you feel that there's someone there it's almost like you can reach out and touch them but they're not yet here this person is coming in you got threes here so we are now in july august september october spring energy guys there is something oh for me it's spring for you guys it's winter so uh there is definitely some energy moving in before the end of this year you're going to meet somebody this is going to be a love at first sight looking at a person and just getting goosebumps and butterflies in the tummy kind of vibe oh my goodness let's see what the moon knowledge tech will, will say for you oh i love your reading everybody else's readings are a little bit heavy and yours is just like, oh my goodness, wow, guys. Um, that's amazing. Your energy is very different from what I've been picking up on from the other readings. So it makes me happy. What fell here? Let me see. Ah, I love it. I'm so glad that they're saying this to you. It's not about what has been. It's void of course moon. And it's interesting that we're talking about void of course moon and I was mentioning eclipses. Nothing will come of this situation. So whatever it is, the situation that they're talking about is that and these two. So this sadness, this it talks about where you are now, the situation that you are in now. It's saying everything that you're fearing, everything that you're worried about, all these fears that you have that maybe you won't be with somebody, maybe you're going to be alone forever, maybe you'll never find love. They're going that nothing will come of that because that is not true. What is coming is the reality of what is lying on top here and um, this person that's coming in here. And I think you can absolutely feel that. And it's the hardest thing when every part of your being, when your soul, your heart, your mind even... Um, your energy it just feels there's something there there's something coming it's the hardest thing to believe to have that faith when you don't see it and that's why they're saying nothing will come of that nothing will come out of the fear what you need to do is focus on the positive here so that you can bring in that positive energy in your life I almost got this energy of them saying if I can picture another card in fact from another tarot deck like it's just you know release control kind of energy and just allow flow to take you allow life to just take you where you're meant to be all you need to do is release any pain from inside of you and work on focusing on how every day to be happier a little bit more than yesterday you know the day before and when you do that that's all you that's required of you when you do so you're going to see some unbelievable shifts coming in yeah this is very very soon wow that is beautiful but there we go guys thank you so much for coming in thank you uh, for watching hit the thumbs up button if you do resonate with the video let me know that way and otherwise i'm sending my love in your direction bye